Hello, my friends. I'm so glad to see you. It's almost Christmas. Isn't that exciting? Do you love Christmas? I do. Giggle Bear's having fun wearing his reindeer ears today. Isn't that cute? And we're going to have a story about Christmas. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Ari. Hello, Harper. Good to see you. Are you ready for our Christmas story? Okay. Giggle Bear, do you want to sit in front of me and listen? Okay, he wants to see the pictures. Down he goes. Cock-a-doodle Christmas. Cock-a-doodle Christmas by Will Helenbrand. Long ago in the village of Bethlehem, a group of animals lived happily together on a farm. Every morning, old rooster crowed, Cock-a-doodle-doo! When the farm animals heard the cock-a-doodle-doo, they knew it was time to start their day. Hen would lay an egg, cow would give milk, Donkey would pull a cart, tote his cart. Ox would pull the plow. But old Rooster was getting tired. Soon he would be retiring and moving to another farm to live with his sister. Who will take your place, asked the animals. I will teach young Harold to crow, said old rooster. The following day, old rooster gave Harold a simple lesson. One, mount the post just before dawn. Two, take 10 deep breaths. Three, release air while crowing. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Four, repeat these steps until everyone has awakened. I can't do that. My voice is too small, whined Harold. What's going to happen? Don't worry, Harold. You'll be great, said Old Rooster. I'm off to my sister's farm. Good luck. Harold felt alone and unsure of himself. He returned to the comfort of his nest, but that didn't make him feel any better. He knew the next morning he would have to wake everybody up. When the time came, he stood on his post. He took deep breaths and he croaked, Cock a doodle doo. His cock a doodle doo was very soft. He tried again and again, but no one heard him. No one waked up, and this caused trouble for all, all the animals. Oh no. Back. I didn't lay an egg this morning, complained Han. Moo, I didn't give milk, moaned the cow. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. I didn't pull my cart, grumpled donkey. My, I pulled the, I didn't pull my plow, bellowed ox. Harold worried. 
what am I going to do? No matter how hard I try, I can't crow loud enough to wake everyone up. This went on day after day until late one evening, a young woman, great with child, and her husband came to rest to the stable. Mary and Joseph. Ooh, a bright light in the night sky lit the night sky. Harold dashed out of the stable to get a better look. There was dazzling new, there was a dazzling new star beaming in the heavens. In the distance, he heard the echo of voices rejoicing in song. Soon, startled shepherds came the, from the fields to worship the babe. Harold wondered what was going on. What is going on? Do you know? Yeah, that's right. Baby Jesus. One shepherd said, I have seen the scriptures fulfilled. Good news. We have a new day. The Prince of Peace has come. What does the old shepherd mean? Hope for a new day, thought Harold. Day would soon dawn and he would have to try once again to wake everyone up. Harold turned toward the baby and discovered that the baby was looking directly at him. The infant's eyes were filled with love and understanding. Oh, breathed Harold. His body uh, tingled with joy. Never had he felt so special, so happy and so calm. His worries faded away and now he understood this day and every day was going to be different. Boldly, Harold opened his throat. Cock-a-doodle-doo, he crowed. Then, cock-a-doodle-doo, good news for you. Finally, he was crowing as loudly as the old rooster. All the animals woke up. So did old rooster and his sister on the farm down the road. Good for Harold, he cried. Harold's call echoed throughout the mountain. It sounded in the valleys. Cock-a-doodle-doo, good news for you. And to this day, whenever you may be or wherever you may go, roosters everywhere call out the new day for all to hear and for all to know good news for you. Nice story. Thank you for joining me on Goof and Giggle YouTube Storytime. Bye-bye.